Oh. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Keith Bush, I'm the uh, principal of Parsippany High School. And my name is Adil Ibrahim Abo, I am a junior at Parsippany High School. And we're just going to be walking through the building real quick, uh, giving you a short tour of the building. So uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to be here, uh, or this is going to be your first time in the building as a student or a parent, uh, you have a little bit of a lay of the land. All right, so here we are down uh, uh, on my right is our, uh, our band room. And uh, behind me, these doors are to the auditorium. This is known as the auditorium entrance to the school. Behind the camera is our, uh, our set of doors. This is one of the main entrance points for students in the morning. Uh, if you're dropped off or you uh, walk to school, this is the area of the building that you will be entering in. And usually at the beginning of the day, um, there's a sign here that will say which day it is, or A day, B day, C day, or D day. So we always know what day it is. And also this year, uh, as part of our food service, there will be uh, cold breakfast items uh, set up at a distribution uh, station right here that you can grab in the morning and walk down to one of our cafeterias behind me that we can, uh, we can go to right now. So why don't we walk back this way through the building. Uh, we are here uh, in the middle of our band camp right now, so if you hear music in the background, uh, in fact, the deal I stole from band camp, uh, you might see some of our students here. Uh, a couple of things that you'll see as we walk through the building, we have our shop right stars over here on my right. These are students that uh, are, are celebrated for academics, arts, athletics, service, and leadership contributions to the school and community. Uh, over here we also have Cafeteria One. Uh, this is also known as the Big Cafeteria. Um, you'll be able to eat there during the day and in the morning. Uh, that will be where you can eat your breakfast that you receive. Uh, additionally, our study halls will be held in cafeterias one and two, so if you have study hall on your schedule, uh, you, uh, you can be in, uh, in one of those cafeterias. To my left over here, uh, these are excerpts from all of the yearbooks from the entire history of Parsippany High School. We create one of these every year as a good way to celebrate the past. Uh, we're big into uh, celebrating traditions here at Parsippany High School, and this is a great one. So. Hopefully one of these days, your picture will be on. Alright, so this is the guidance hallway um, at the end of the hallway on the left. So if you need any help with your scheduling, you'll go to your guidance counselor and Ms. Doyle if you need any help. Um, with homework or you're having a problem, she can help you. I'm going to keep going down this way. Over here is our attendance office. Uh, this is part of our main office. Uh, usually this uh, red table will be set up outside here in the mornings. If you ever uh, come to school late or you need to check out early for any reason, you're going to come here. You're going to speak with Mr. Decker. He's our attendance secretary. Uh, he's going to take care of you. Also, if you are planning on leaving early or you have a note that you want to bring in for one of your absences, this is where you're going to drop it off. And over to my right uh, is our second cafeteria. Uh, these are both adjoined by our kitchen down there where you can pick up hot breakfast in the morning and also uh, pick up your lunch in the afternoon. Did I leave anything out? Uh, the iced coffee is really good. Good iced coffee. <laughs> We're going to keep going down. This is our main office right here. This is where you're going to be able to uh, speak with myself, either of our assistant principals. Uh, our secretaries are very helpful. So if you need to get in there for any reason, uh, you have any issues, please stop into the main office. This is our main entrance to the building, also known as the flagpole entrance. Uh, as we said earlier, the entrance down by the auditorium is uh, one of the main morning entrances for the school. Uh, this main entrance is going to be your point of entry if you're trying to get into the building at any point during the day that's not in the morning. So anytime after 7.50 a.m., which is when uh, our entry points shut, if you need to come into the building, or if you're a visitor to Parsippany High School, you're going to come in through these doors, ring the doorbell outside, and uh, somebody's going to let you in. Over here we have our security desk, which will have uh, Ms. Brianza, who's our security guard at it. 
and when you come in, you'll sign in, show some ID, and she'll let you into the rest of the building. These are supervisors hiding. So this is our Parsippany Hall of Fame. Uh, on both sides of our wall over here, we have a Hall of Fame induction, and we select uh, former Parsippany High School uh, alumni as well as uh, uh, teachers and staff to go into our Hall of Fame. Uh, and you know, maybe if uh, you do well here and uh, and do some amazing things out in the community, as many of our students and staff do, uh, you too can find yourself in the Parsippany Hall of Fame one of these days. Maybe continuing down, this is what we call the main hallway. Do you want to talk a little bit about how the hallways are set up? Sure. So the hallways are usually set up by subject or by elective. So the 200s wing is mainly for electives. There's cooking classes down there. Um, and the 300s wing is for math, for the most part, I think. And the nurse's office is also down there. Yeah. And in terms of how the building itself is laid out, we have on this side all of the odd hundreds. So this is the 300. The next hallway down on the right is the 500. 700 is after that. And on this side are all the even hundreds. So this is the 200 wing. The next hallway is the 400 wing. And finally at the end is 600 wing. Uh, this is all one floor, Parsippany High School. So there's no stairs or anything. Uh, but because it's one floor, it's very spread out. So uh, there's uh, quite a bit of distance that you would have to cover to get between classes. But would you say that uh, four minute passing time is enough time to get from point A to point B? Yeah, but if you don't stop to make small talk, I think that's very reasonable to be able to get to your classes. Okay, so right from, uh, from the student perspective, make sure that if you're trying to get from point A to point B during passing time, you don't stop to socialize too, too much. Um, and you, uh, you use that unit lunch time to do that. Passing time is really where you get from, uh, from class one to class two on time, all right? So we're gonna keep walking down uh, and we're gonna see some, uh, some additional sites. So the courtyards are mainly used as places where students can eat lunch. They're also used as um, kind of passing places for in between your classes. So over there is the language wing and you can pass between there to get to this wing. Um, there's three courtyards. Three courtyards. These are, these are two of the three and there's picnic tables and we play games sometimes out there so it's really fun to have lunch with your friends outside. Sometimes teachers if it's a nice day and and um, and and, and we're sort of sick of being in the classroom. Sometimes teachers will also take classes out into the courtyards uh, and will run, run, run classes out there. Um, if you can uh, look over there again to that far side of the courtyard that Adil was talking about, that is our language wing. Uh, numbers wise, that's the 800 wing. Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the different even numbered hundred wings on this side of the school. So you access the 800 wing down there either across this courtyard or the 400 wing is down there, the 200 wing we just came from, and um, if you go down either of those hallways, you'll get to that, that language wing down there as well. Uh, you can't really get to anywhere over here on that side of the building, although our art rooms are over there, and occasionally our art classes will uh, bring materials out and set up little gallery walks and uh, exhibits and stuff outside, especially during Art Appreciation Week, so that's always really cool. Anyway, the courtyards are very widely used and we really like them, so. Okay, so this is one of my favorite parts of the school. Um, these lockers have been painted by students. Mostly students, a couple staff members, but almost all the good ones are students, that's for sure. <laughs> And um, they're decorated with covers or description-ish paintings of famous books. Yeah, so they're supposed to be reminiscent of book spines, like on a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see, if you look over here, we have a couple, as of yet, incomplete lockers. So if you're interested in artistic and you want to uh, pick a locker and paint it, we have some opportunities for you. Keep going here. So again, keeping with our uh, sort of our pattern, here's our 400 wing, and if you look all the way down there, you can see uh, the opening to the 800 wing. Uh, which classes are down this this wing over here? 
This wing is history classes. So this is almost entirely social studies classes. This wing over here, the 500 wing, on the left hand side of the hallway is going to be uh, science classes. The right hand side of the hallway is going to be your, uh, your math classes. If you saw all the way down there on the far, far, far end of that hallway is our gymnasium. So I'm going to keep going this way. Alright, so on your right is possibly my favorite place in the school. It's the Media Center. So if you have any problems with um, your Chromebook, you can come here to get it fixed. There's also TSS. Um, and whenever you need to check out a book, just go pick one and bring it to the librarians and they will check it out for you. Yeah, the Media Center is a great place. We utilize this space in a lot of different ways. It's not just the traditional library. Uh, if you go in there, you'll find students uh, socializing. It's a nice, calm space very lounge type feel. Yeah. Uh, there's some comfy couches and nice chairs in there. You can pick up a book, you can read during your study hall. Uh, many classes will come in here, do some group work, also uh, research projects with the media specialists. So um, you know, definitely check out the media, the media center, it's a great place. And also to your left, my right, is our third courtyard. Uh, this one is a little bit less used but uh, certainly available to you at any time. We have picnic tables out there and also our tremendous uh, greenhouse over here that right now doesn't have any plants in it because there's been nobody here to take care of them this summer. But this year we will definitely get those, uh, those plants back in there. So coming to the end of our main hallway over here. And finally, this is our 600 wing and our 700 wing. And what, what, what would we find out in these wings? So the 600 wing is for mostly English, English and language arts classes. Any English electives that you take will probably be held in um, this hallway. And 700 wing is for science and driver's ed classes and yeah. health classes. Yep. We also are in the process of creating a choir reading lounge down here for this year, as well as a place that uh, you can go to, we're going to call it our Zen Den. It's a little bit of a, a rest and recharge location where you can get a little bit of uh, peace and quiet, uh, maybe do some breathing and stuff like that if you're getting a little overwhelmed throughout the day. Another thing in the 600 wing that might be uh, important for some of you is the uh, child study team office. So if you uh, are a student that works with the child study team, uh, down on the right hand side of this hallway, the 600 wing hallway, is where you will find uh, your child study team case managers. Um, we're going to walk quickly down here just to see one more hallway, and then that basically is everything in the school, I think. Or did I missing something? Should we mention the bus? Oh, yes, perfect. Yes, that's a great idea. So, go ahead. What were you going to say? So, um, any students who take the bus home um, from school or come to school in a bus will get on the bus from this entrance of the school um, at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. I would suggest maybe running a little bit from your classes because the buses sometimes leave a, a little quickly. But Yeah, end of the day, very important. Don't dawdle in the building. If you take the bus, you got to come out here. All the buses will be lined up. And uh, would you say that the buses are generally in the same order that they leave every day? For the most part. For the most part, the buses will always, will always be in the same order. So if you find your bus that first day, every day after that, you'll probably find your bus in the same spot. Another important piece, thank you for bringing this up. This is another area that students will enter into the building in the morning. We're all the way at the opposite end of that main hallway from down by the auditorium side. Uh, so down here, uh, this is where students are going to be entering into if they're going to be dropped off by the bus. We'll also have another location here where you can pick up your breakfast item. Again, even though we're a little bit further away on this side, if you pick up your breakfast item, please make sure you go all the way down to the cafeteria before you eat it. Okay? So we're going to go down the uh, 700 wing hallway. I apologize, it's a little dark right now because we're still kind of in summer mode. I want to show you one more area of the building and then we're going to be uh, all done. All right? So come on with us. All right, so this is really the last uh, sort of wing of the school building. Um, this is the, I guess it's referred to mostly as the gym hallway. 
Um, this runs parallel to the main hallway. And so from the main hallway, you can walk down any of the odd numbered hallways, 300, 500, or we just came down the 700, you can access this hallway here. Uh, to your right, my left, is our main gymnasium. Uh, right now we have some color guard practice going on in there. Um, you can access our... Boys and girls locker rooms are also accessible from inside there. So if you have gym, uh, that's where you're going to be changing. Also, if you play a sport, that's where you're going to be changing for, uh, for your sport. Uh, at this point, uh, we're probably not going to be utilizing those locker rooms at the beginning of the, of the year, but certainly throughout the course of the year, hopefully as things get a little bit, uh, a little bit better, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, utilize those, those locker rooms a little bit better. Um, to your left, my right, are two of our art rooms. This is important just so you are aware, even though this is not numbered as the 500 wing, if you see these doors are numbered 512 and 514. So if you have an art class and you are looking for uh, art classrooms that are uh, being held in 512 and 514, you're actually going to find them in the gym hallway. So that's some place that, that some of our new students uh, get confused. So that's really uh, the entire building. Uh, we didn't get all the way down into the 800 wing. Uh, but we did take basically a big lap around the building here. Uh, just a couple little areas of interest over here. Uh, to your right, this is our choir classroom. It's a little bit further away from the band classroom, but if you're a choir singer, this is where you're going to be uh, doing your lessons during the day. And over here is? The uh, nurse's office. So if you feel sick at any point during the day, please come to the nurse's office. Um, she will also help you fill out any athletics paperwork if you want to participate in, I think it's a little too late for fall sports, but definitely winter spring sports. <laughs> but it never hurts to ask, so if you're interested in a fall sport, maybe check it out. Um, we also, uh, you know, during this particular time, uh, just important to know where the health office is if you're feeling sick throughout the course of the day, you start to develop any sort of uh, symptoms of illness. Let somebody know right away, come on down to the nurse's office and we'll get you taken care of. The last thing that we just want to point out to you as we, as we complete our tour, uh, just these little sort of secrets in the building that, uh, you know, it takes a, a year or two to figure out. If you look down this hallway, uh, this is, we, we call this sometimes the auxiliary hallway, or the secret hallway. Uh, these are also numbered with 300 wing, um, 300 uh, room numbers. Down there, you'll find your graphic design and digital photography classrooms, as well as your wood shop, uh, which is where we do carpentry, uh, stagecraft, and other, uh, other, other classes that deal with woodworking. So right now, we're in the 300 wing. This is sort of the end of our tour. Uh, if you head down this hallway a little bit further, you'll get right back to that main hallway. Again, building is very simple. Would you say, how long would, it, would you say it takes to, to kind of figure out your way around the building? I think less than a week. Less than a week, all right? So we have that first week where we have a couple, um, uh, a couple days that, um, that we'll have uh, in the building before I think uh, we really get into the flow of things the next week. So uh, we're really excited to have you. Any last, uh, any last thoughts? Um, not really, other than we are excited to have you here and we hope that you get to used to the building really fast. <laughs> but if you don't and you have questions, Certainly find Adil or myself or any one of our uh, junior and senior orientation ambassadors who you will be able to find by the yellow lanyard that they'll be wearing. And um, we look forward to seeing you in a few days. So thanks for joining us.